Hello everybody, it's Barbara and I'm going to do a free reading today. Today's winner, we're all winners, but today's reading winner is Nancy W. So Nancy, this reading is for you. The deck that was given to me is the Archangel Power Tarot. And um, you, you get three cards. Okay, some somebody's tickling my nose. So there's something going on. Hmm, like my nose didn't tickle at all before I started the video, but all of a sudden my nose is tickling. So Nancy, take that however you want. I feel like there's somebody here and they're trying to get attention. Um, no, I know what it is. It's like little fibers. You have looms. There's like, there's like yarn fibers tickling my nose. So uh, it's either somebody that has to do something with one of your looms or it's that newest loom. It's driving me crazy. Um, so your first card that came out is the Eight of Michael. The Eight of Michael. This is also um, in other decks known as the Eight of Fire. Now, the Eight of Fire is all about passion and um, it can be learning new things, um, doing new things, but it can also be the fear of um, doing those things, fear of that change, um, fear of, oh my gosh, fear of, um, not necessarily fear, but maybe not seeing the potential good in something that's a change. So there can be a change and maybe, you know, you're feeling like, oh, I don't know about that. But there's potential good there. And you need to focus on that potential good and not the, well, what if this happened? Now, I don't know what this pertains to, um, but there is some kind of change in your life or right on the horizon. Don't be afraid of it because there's actually really good things coming. Okay. And you're protected. You're protected. You know, here's Archangel Michael um, right behind that woman. Okay, the gates are opening. There's this amazing opportunity. Don't focus on the negative. The next card that came out is the Four of Ariel. And in this deck, this is like the Four of Earth um, or the Four of Pentacles. So this also talks about that resistance. Althea just gave us an affirmation. Althea, come here. Um, the resistance to um, whatever is going on there. But Come here, come lay down. But because this is four of earth or four of pentacles, this is all about finances or material things as well. So maybe you're being really, um, you're saving your money, um, but maybe too much, you know, like you don't want to spend it on yourself or maybe it's the opposite. You're spending too much money. I can't see that, but I feel like it's, more like, you know, we're saving money for a rainy day, but this goes back to one of the videos I just did recently where we have to celebrate every day. You know, saving for a rainy day is great, but when you have enough for that rainy day, it's okay to say, you know what? I deserve something nice because why else do we work? Do we work just to work, to be slaves to our job, to, you know, to make that pile of money? Or do we get to have something fun to do with it? So pay attention to that. Um, the third card that came out is a major arcana, and it is the zero card, which is the very first card in the major arcana. The zero card is the fool, or in this deck, it's the leap of faith. It's the very first card on the hero's journey, which is where we take that first step into this new journey. Now, interestingly, that came out third. So we've got, it's like, we're gonna deal with all this stuff first so that we can take that first step on this new journey. And I feel like the new journey has to do with um, that first card where I was talking about, don't worry um, because there's positive things that are gonna come of this change. And when you take that leap of faith, you're going to see those positive things coming. 
So um, this, this zero card, the fool, the leap of faith card, this is all about believing in yourself and getting over those fears and taking that first step. Who knows what's going to happen after the first step? But you know what? You're never going to know unless you take the first step. So take that first step. Stop worrying. Stop being afraid of anything. Um, you can be thrifty with your money, but also know that you are worthy of things, of good people, of, of you know, I say it at the end of every video. We are all worthy of all good things. So take that to your heart and know that you're worthy. Lavish yourself a little something. And it doesn't have to be because it's Mother's Day or because it's your birthday. It could just be a Tuesday. And you know what? I'm going to celebrate myself today. I'm going to spend 20 bucks on myself. Okay, do it. Um, nobody says you can't. So we all need to be living for ourselves. We all need to be celebrating every single day. And it doesn't mean we have to go out and, and do lavish things. We're not going to buy a, a brand new car every day. But you know what? Buy those things that make you happy, that bring you joy. If it's taking a long hot bath tonight with some fancy stuff in the water, okay, go buy the fancy stuff. If it's um, a wonderful favorite bottle of wine, okay, go get that bottle of wine. It doesn't mean you have to do it every day. But for Pete's sake, celebrate every day because we only get one of these days, okay? Today is Tuesday, April 12th, 2022. Celebrate the heck out of it. And then tomorrow, when it's April 13th, celebrate the heck out of that one too. Do it differently and do it in the way that makes you happy. Take that leap of faith because I assure you, I see positive things when you do the, it's like, it's like this card right here where the gates open up and you have this beautiful journey with all these positive things happening and you're going to love it. So that is your reading. Yay, you. Let all that low frequency stuff go because you have some amazing things coming for you. All right. Thank you for joining me. Nancy and everybody else watching this or listening to it, I send you blessings of love, light, peace, joy, happiness, success, divine health, and all good things because you are worthy and you deserve them all. Mwah.